Bonjour. Day two of our adventure in Gatineau, and today we're going to go on the Western Shelter Hike. It's going to take us a little bit more than three and a half kilometres because we're going to go on a fun route. And that's where we go. For the next two and a half kilometres, we go on an incline like that. Are you ready, kitty? 20 minutes in, we've gone about one kilometre, and it's been pretty much uphill the whole way. This is beautiful though. Kitty, show us how steep it is. So Kitty's about 20 feet where she is from the turn. And as you can see, the turn is clearly higher, much higher than she is. So that's what it's been like for the whole kilometre. Cool. We've done 1.1 kilometre at this point, and we've just come up this steep hill, and we're just gonna go along there. But we've only climbed 150 metres. We've got another 150 metres to climb, so we better get on with it. Kitty has new shoes. Yeah, they're good. You like them? They're comfy. I have sort of new shoes. These are waterproof ones, which I probably won't need today. And I'm just going to top up with some toxic spray because sometimes you need toxic spray because when they bite you, sometimes you bruise. And it's far too humid to put the bug suit on, though we do have them. Let's go. We've got about another eight kilometers to do. Good lord, we're on the Chemin Road. It's funny because we're actually closer to the car park, the Meech P12, than when we started out. And we are going to go to the Western Shelter, which we've got about 800 metres to go, uh, which is on 2, probably not on 1B. But we'll have a look at the map and we'll have a good think. So yeah, we've done about 51 minutes and we've gone about 3.5 kilometres, which is like just over 2 miles. So Kitty wants to go over there through the bush, so what we're going to do is we're going to leave my backpack here and we're going to take the compass bearing and we're going to head out. Okay, so Kitty's using the compass and it's a bit cruel because she's never used it before. So if you turn the compass upside down and open the black top. There, that's how you take your compass bearing. So you've got a red and a white needle. Mm -hmm. The red needle will point to true north or magnetic north. Right? Mm -hmm. So turn the bevel so it's the north is pointing to the top of the red. There's ways and means of doing this. This is this basic straightforward mean. So which way are we going? South? Directly south or not? That is directly south. Are we going directly no, south? I wanted to go there. Okay, so how many degrees from south is it? South is at about 180. Yeah. And I want to go... 160? About 160. Okay, so every time you take a bearing, you're going to go south with an inclination to the left of 20 degrees. Okay. All right, and then off you go. Kitty's going to re-bear, make sure we know where we're going. So that way? Yeah. All right. Beaver, you're nothing but a beaver. Put your hands on your head, oh no! Look at the beaver dam down at the end. Because it's windy here, the bugs are being kept off, so we're going to sit and just chill for a few minutes and enjoy peace. So Kitty's now going to take a bearing to get back. Now we went south 160 degrees. So you want to get again the uh, bevel without turning it to get the red arrow matching, matching with the red arrow. Okay. So you might want to turn it around because that's north and that's north. So that's the way, that's it. So get it so the north is actually being, I may have to level this and do this type of a thing, because it's a cheap, cheapy one. So at that point, you know you want to go south 160, so you want to go north 20 degrees. So when you get the bearing, north, north, you're then going to go 20 degrees off towards me. Is that clear? To reverse bearing. Yeah. Alrighty, let's go. We made it to the Western Shelter and we're going to go in and have a look. 
much more useful in the winter. But if you get lost overnight and you can find one of these, you've actually got a place to hang out. Keep them supplied with firewood. Somebody's here, I think, and they've got the fire going for some unknown reason. It's about 24 centigrade. Sure, I might have some more. We've got the hard part of the walk ahead of us. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We're currently on nine, heading towards uh, Champlain Lookout, which I think we might actually take because we're probably going to be 700 meters from it. Uh, it's quite humid. What's the temperature, Kitty? I don't know, I only know time. Uh, let's look at this very unreliable temperature indicator. The temperature indicator is very unreliable. It says it is currently about 22, 23 centigrade. That's what it was supposed to be today. But it's humid. Right? So we decided to go to the Champlain Lookout because we've never actually been there, though we have flown over it. So we've added 1.5 kilometers to our route and then another 1.5 kilometers. So we'll head there now. Alrighty, we've gone from P12 to the Western Lookout, which is there. And then we went back and then we are here, Champlain. The Cerulean Warbler throughout Gaino Park. Bird species nest and raise their chicks in trees, cliffs, water bodies, and in some cases directly on the forest floor. Many are protected. Big fly you have there. Mm. Zoom in on him. He's a beauty. Keep your eyes open for a Cerulean warbler. So most people bike in or walk in, but you can actually get the free bus. It's a little windy, but it's quite a beautiful view. <laughs> the old interpretive panels. Rare and wonderful, the Adley Escarpment. Actually, it's very beautiful. You want to do the Escarpment too? No. The Champagne was kind of fun, and now we are going to go back and try and resume our own trail. And as you can see, it's not really well marked, but we should be okay. So now I'm going to take 1B, get back. So about 1.2 kilometers from the Western Station Lookout, Shelter Lookout, and if we go the direct route, it's 3.7 kilometers to Meech. We are not going the direct route. Beautiful. Very Jurassic Park. It is. Very tropical and lush at this time of year. Right. That was way more uphill than I expected. So now I'm going to take nine and they've removed the signage, which is alright, because we know what we're doing. So the Western Shelter has been part of the Western Trail and this was all dug out and the shelter was built in 1930. After three hours of walking, uh, at a leisurely pace, feeling a bit tired, but we're still doing some diversions and we decided to divert through the forest and have a look at uh, a little pond we saw, and this is it. Quite beautiful. And over there is a lily, so let's photograph it. Action. It won't keep you alive long, but you could eat that little partridge berry. You can tell by the green leaves, it's a non-toxic little berry. Old beaver markings. Now look at this. A small pond. Huh. 
a large old lodge. We might be an exit, huh? Maybe. We're going to head out quickly in case the bullfrogs eat us. Well, this is supposed to be 700 meters and it feels a lot longer already and we still haven't found the man park lookout hopefully shortly yeah. So if we reach the trail obstruction and Kitty's gonna go over it. Yay Kitty! So we've walked for over 10 kilometers and it's took us about four hours and 20 minutes with rest stops. We're not pushing the pace and we've had plenty of rests, but this is a significantly tougher trail than you might think when you start out on it, even though it's all uphill on the way. After then there's a lot of rolling ups and downs and quite difficult footing, but we've had an absolute blast. Well, after five and a half hours after we set off, we're finally back at our car park and we didn't get lost. It's been quite the fun adventure. I recommend this one if you're ever in the neighbourhood. What do you think, Kitty? Beautiful, really fun. All right, well, that's it from us too. Toodles. Bye. Bye. been a 2024 Tiny Terrier production. No terriers were harmed in the making of this production. <laughs>